speed, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. Now SCVs are going to get pulled off the line here, but it turns out it could be even worse for the wear. They're not really going to be absorbing any hits, they're just going to get force fueled and killed very, very quickly. Even some mules, it's going to be some energy wasted, unfortunately, and the command center is going to have to lift off and fly back in. The force field here is going to prevent reinforcements from coming down, and he does have more force fields he can drop. Plenty of energy from all these sentries. He's not going to be able to get this command killed. Uh, and actually, it's going to help wall off with these two supply depots, should Huck choose to. Or, I'm sorry, should, no, Bloods choose to wall off. Preventing his own landing there for just a little bit as the observer comes in. No blink stalkers move up though, but it will give vision of the high ground and some good force fields going down, trapping a lot of these units. But a medevac is going to save them, saying, I'll just fly right over and drop you guys behind. You are safe with me. So heavy loss is coming in for Noblesse. Huck playing this game very, very well because now his own natural is going to be saturated. You can see he's dropping two more gateways. He's going to be running on a six gate now with robotics facility should he choose to push it. I don't think he could quite support all of that. This may be just a little bit of a breaking point. We did finally have that proxy pylon thrown down, and that is going to be uh, supplying very quick reinforcements all the way here for Huck onto Noblesse. I really think Noblesse is just falling. He can't keep up with the production of Huck. Now this this building, uh, this command center is on fire, having full SCVs over here to repair it to get it back out of that fiery range. But Huck, man, really is just looking pretty solid right now. He's in a very commanding position. You can see 30 full supply ahead. He's got that second base going very well. He's still got more force fields. Stem does go down to try to take out what he can. But Noblesse just can't... Even if, even Yeah, if he could uh, comsat and take out this observer, deny that high ground vision, I'm sure this would be a completely different story. I'm not sure why he hasn't. He has to know that Huck's not able to just magically map hacks and see the high ground uh, for all those force fields. Of course, there are no sentries left now. All these stancers happily dancing. This factory trying to get repaired, trying to move away. There's really no blesses just collecting himself, but I don't see his his supply is half of Huck's. And Huck is just continuing, and he'll just keep warping in, and he'll just keep moving on up. He doesn't want to quite move too far in here. Finally takes out that observer and surprise. Now he can't see up on the high ground. He's so much more cautious about making any attacks. Recognizing when your opponents have vision of the high ground is so, so crucial. You do have these zealots moving in to tank some damage as Huck decides I am going to go for it. His, uh... Resource count is very high, no doubt to help readily supply reinforcements as this attack continues. Just going back and forth and back and forth, but really, now we have Colossus on the way. Uh, Noblesse is not getting any upgrades from an engineering bay, he's still stuck on one base, and he's going to try to sneak down and take this third right here, which I guess would be his second. However, Huck, going for a high yield, when you're, farther, when you're ahead, you get farther ahead. Always, always good. Now this command start turning around, going for the natural, no doubt smarter because it's much easier to defend. As Huck's going to pull back and decide not to go for the death blow just yet. But he's got, I mean, whew, his supply is still so much higher than his opponent's. Look at the units tab, he's got 12 stalkers on the field along with 4 sentries, 8 zealots, and the colossus just came out. We've only got not even a dozen marauders or marines dozen and a half if you put the two together but oh look at this this tells the story 56 to 26 that income discrepancy just that's that's going to be it that's going to be the killer mark and I wouldn't even say Noblesse needs to be repairing this now he just needs to start mining everything he can it's as if he's actually not even gathering he's spending money poor shame it's like that one roommate in your apartment like you've got a room, you know, like an apartment of four, and you and two other guys are like working your butts off so you can all make rent and have food. And the one guy's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna like tidy up around the house, you know, and keep it clean. That's that's gonna be my job in the apartment. No, don't be that guy, SCV. But he is, he is, he's repairing away. Now this Colossus could get sniped. Oh, 35 hit points, so close." 
That's the power of stem rotters. 20 damage a shot. And a lot of people don't realize how fragile Colossus are. They think they're this beastly, like, 500 health unit. They, they do have 350 health, nothing to sneeze at. However, in comparison, Zealots have 150. And, I mean, phew, you spam Zealots all day if you felt like it. They, they certainly are not as fragile as, like, a, a little sentry. They're whopping 80 health. But Colossus can be pretty fragile, especially if they're focused down by the vast majority of a Terran army. I mean, it'll take... Oh, here we go. Having great use of the high vision. We're going to see some elevator moves. Nope, we're not. A little indecisiveness from Noblesse, but he is catching a bit of Huck's army out of position. Just weakening that very small amount. Always crucial in getting ahead. Picking out any free weak units that you can. This factory will eventually die. It's had a long, good scouting life, but it is saying, I'm done. I'm out of here. And Huck really going to be pursuing across the map. We do still have zero, zero, four. both our players. The Vikings are out on the field, however, and they are going to really, really put a pain in this uh, Colossus count, if they can help it. One Colossus finally going down. However, the you still have all of the rest of Huck's army to deal with, plus the other Colossus have been taken out by the Stalkers and the Sentries. Zealots going to work, actually doing a lot of, you can hear them slicing and dicing. Some good force fields going down. This Colossus does get focused on. You can see it. Poof, it is dead. It is gone. So we are left with Stalkers and Sentries here for Huck's army. Good force fields going down to help split the, the defenses. SCVs have been pulled off the line. But the supply, the supply discrepancy, again, Noblesse still at about half of Huck's unit count. And Huck, this whole time, now he's saturated the high yield. But no doubt be getting this rich Vespain geyser that gives six per return. It's like a geyser and a half. It is just just spreading the wealth. Oh, and Huck, you greedy, greedy Protoss. Why take one high yield when you can take two? That will just propel him farther and farther ahead. And this proxy will get taken out. That's not going to make much of a difference in Huck's supply max. He's still practically double his opponent. A lot of that is going to be in the work discrepancy. Now we're up to 62 probes to 23 SCVs. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. It is just 2,000 minerals per minute. Crazy, crazy good. Let's him just, uh, let's him fund the reinforcements from army very, very quickly. You can see his, his macro. 800 minerals, 900 gas. You hardly ever see that out of Protoss. He can't produce fast enough. He needs to drop, like... Yeah, six more gateways, and Noblesse, seeing that his opponent was just reproducing at such a rate, then looking at his own and saying, well, practically mined out of the main, only got my natural, really don't want to expand either way because Huck would just shut it down. G, G. Huck takes the series 2-1. Now, if you did see it at MLG Raleigh, then you already knew this, but I hope the game was still enjoyable for you. Uh, you always feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Visit my channel, look at my other games. I put these things up not just because I feel like, you know, I take so much enjoyment in watching that loading bar fill. I really want other people to take enjoyment out of the StarCraft 2 game. It is a whole lot of fun, I think, and I want to share the wealth, share the happy. Just make everybody smile. Just have a happy game. So, Huck takes this best of three series. And the rest is history, as this has already happened. I'm going to go back to watching some MLG Orlando. If you've already seen it, then don't spoil it for those that haven't. I may just end up casting those games, too. And I will see you in the next game.